Hey, welcome back. Higher prices, long lines, and sometimes no gas at all available uh, at gas stations in the wake of tropical storm Harvey. And we're heading into a long holiday weekend. Is there a gas shortage or not? Fred Sloan, the uh, chief operating officer for Dallas-based fuel distributor TAC Energy. So why, if, if everybody's telling us there's no shortage, why are we seeing these lines? Well, I think it, the media frenzy is social media. Oh, blame it on the media. <laughs> It's, it's, a, uh, it's a little bit of herd mentality. I mean, people are, are hear stories of the refinery outages. They hear stories of the pipelines being shut down. And there's a, there's a, a fear that, you know, we're going to run out of gas. But We've heard for months, if not for years, that there is a surplus of oil, right? For sure. I, obviously, I don't put oil in my gas tank. That's correct. How, how does it get from wherever the heck it is into my gas tank? There's a process. Of course, there's a process. So the oil is is um, is, is at the producers produce the oil out of the ground mm -hmm. from all over the world, and whether it's it's at the United States, it goes into trucks or into pipelines or from overseas, it ends up on ships and comes into the United States right. and gets gets stored in tanks. That's that's the reserve, right? So from there, it has to make its way to refineries to be processed. Some of the refineries are shut down. 25% of the refineries in the United States were, were idled or shut down due to the activity with Harvey. Okay, they refine it, it becomes gasoline, and what happens to it then? So from there, it gets put into pipelines and shipped all over the country. Um, the Gulf Coast refiners will generally pipe it up into North Texas, up into the mid-continent. Some of it makes its way even farther north. And the major throughway uh, pipeline that runs from uh, south of Houston all the way up to New York City is feeds up into the East Coast. Okay, so um, that, that tanker truck that I see at my neighborhood gas station comes from, it doesn't come from Houston every day. No, 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 no. Okay. There are plenty of terminals in the DFW area that are supplied primarily via pipeline from the refineries down in, in the Gulf Coast area. Okay, so, so the reason for the shortage, we're saying panic, but, but how, there are only so many gas tanks and they can only be so full. Is there a shortage or not? So with 25% of the refining capacity shut down and most of the refiners on the Gulf Coast that were idled for some period of time during the hurricane, I mean, it did cause yeah. a bunch of uh, shortages. But those, things are, those refineries are coming back online as we speak. When do you expect things will return to normal? And, and I'm going to feel like a fool for paying three bucks for a gallon of gasoline. <laughs> well, you need to, if you need gas, you need gas, right? right. Yeah. But um, uh, the Gulf Coast, the, the Corpus Christi refineries are already on in process of coming online, and several of the Houston-based refineries, they're in process of um, uh, doing their uh, investigation to make sure that, that everything is safe to restart. Right. And we expect those to come back on in the next, you know, week or two. If people paid three and a half, four, we heard in one case, eight dollars a gallon for gasoline, were they a victim of price gouging, or it, can well, you tell? I am not an expert on, yeah, right. on retail pricing. But what, I would say we that... Had a, we had a guy who owns a gas station call us the other day and said, I paid, you know, three and a half bucks wholesale. That was my cost. I've got to make a couple of pennies a gallon. They're, they're, the likelihood of getting fuel from places where it no, normally would not come from would induce higher costs. So if you had to haul fuel from Oklahoma or from West Texas or from, you know, further away than the, the terminal system here in DFW, right. there would be an additional transportation cost involved in doing that to bring it here. Right. So, so, those, so it, it's possible for somebody right. to have to pay a higher wholesale price. Right. And in a couple of days when the wholesale price returns to normal, that guy's going to be stuck with very expensive gas underground and he's going to be losing money. Unless the public uh, continues to rush the pump and uh, pay for it. Right, exactly. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay, there's, there's uh, gasoline 101 for you right now.